Close your eyes and watch your breath. Try to breathe in a way that feels good. So experiment for a bit to see what will feel good right now. Try longer breathing, shorter breathing, faster, slower, heavy, light, deep, shallow. See what the body needs right now. And you're perfectly free to provide it. It's in this way that you develop a sense of well-being inside. The breath has a huge influence on how the body feels. If we don't keep careful watch over it, it can get kind of strange. So here's an opportunity to create some pleasure right here, right now, in a totally harmless way. And once you develop this skill, you can tap into it whenever you want. It's like certain wells in different parts of the world. They say that in earthquake faults, sometimes the chemical reactions down in the fault produce water. And the water comes up through the fault and the wells can bring it up to the surface. Which means that the water in the well doesn't have to depend on the water from rain outside. So if there can be lots of rain outside or drought outside, but the water keeps coming up, coming up. Unlike ordinary wells that are dry in the droughts and give water in the rainy periods. So what you want your mind to be uh, like the first kind of well. It's always producing the cool water always producing a sense of well-being. Because here it is, the opportunity. Just the way you relate to your breath will have a huge impact on how you experience the body, and how you experience the body is going to have an impact on the state of the mind. So take advantage of this tool that you have here. Don't let it just lie around unused. Explore what it is to stay with the breath in a way that feels really good, really nourishing inside. When the body feels nourished, you find that your state of mind improves as well. So it's simple, basic, but often the basic things are things we overlook. But if you develop this resource, you find you can tap into a, a source of well-being that never runs dry. <laughs>